motion for what the inaugural address. What a great honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere. The Well, Ben Shapiro is the editor-in-chief of the Daily Wire, syndicated columnist, and still chuckles at that video that we've been watching for the last week, uh, commemorating the one year since Donald Trump st shocked the world and, uh, and won the election. Ben, why do you laugh? Well, I mean, if, if one thing could make President Trump's presidency worth it, it's that video. That, that video is spectacular. <laughs> some Republicans were screaming, too, right? Well, that, that, and that some is true still enough. are screaming. Yeah, well, I, I think that's true. Uh, but uh, the, the, the reaction of the left to, to Trump's presidency, and really over the last two years, I think, uh, in, in the run-up to the election, uh, has been so extreme uh, that uh, it wasn't really a surprise to see people screaming at the sky. I'm not sure how they think it's going to help. But. Yeah, uh, the, uh, there are a number of Democrats who are just screaming at the TV every time Donald Trump comes on television. And in fact, there are some House Democrats who are going to launch another uh, swing at impeachment later today. Uh, I can't imagine what they're thinking. Uh, if they were actually to succeed in impeaching Trump, well, let's say that they were to win the House next year mm -hmm. and probably not win the Senate, so the impeachment doesn't go through. So they impeach, right. but they don't actually convict in the Senate. That would be the stupidest thing they could possibly do because nothing would rally Trump's base quite like an impeachment over charges that have yet to be specified. Again, I'm not sure exactly on what grounds they're impeaching him. They, they actually have to provide some sort of grounds for, for getting rid of him. Otherwise, Too much I, tweeting. Yeah, I guess that would be it, right? Well, you see the fantasy uh, spot that Tom Steyer bought, bought saying, that, look at all the things he's done, so about three, two thirds of which is pure, fic, pure fiction, but people believe it. Well, I think people believe what, what they want to believe in these situations. I mean, the left is still focused on the idea that Trump somehow stole the election in collusion with Russia, and that, that's more wishful thinking than it is reality. Uh, the, 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 better, the, the better move for the Democrats seems to be happening actually now, is, which is that they're throwing Hillary Clinton under the bus piece by piece. Uh, and, and doing that, moving away from this election cycle, I think is probably their best hope for, for regaining power. The longer they are stuck in relitigating the 2016 election, the worse it is for them, better it is for President Trump. Mm -hmm. I've been looking at your day planner. You're supposed to go to Tufts University to give a, a talk, but they're trying to pull the, uh, the, the funding for the security. What's going uh, so, on? Uh, I, I'd heard something like that. I know a lot of the, the left students have been protesting and yelling at the administration, and suggesting that it, I, I create an unsafe environment. This is the sort of how do you do that? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't seem that physically imposing to me. But it's, <laughs> but apparently, all the things that I say, uh, particularly when I talk about the idea that men are men and women are women, or when I talk about America being a country of individualism where white privilege is not the rule, uh, when I say these things, it makes people feel insulted and they get very offended. Well, maybe it's because uh, to the students there, they feel that that is their safe place and you should not invade it. Like, yes, I think that they've really conflated my differing politics with me insulting their identity. It's one of the most dangerous things that's happening politically in the country is this idea that if I disagree with you, it's not a disagreement over the issues or over what we believe. It's a disagreement with, with you as a human. It goes, you back, as a, goes back to tolerance unless you feel differently than we do. How many colleges have refused for you or you've had a situation like this, a hiccup where you weren't able to talk? Well, I mean, there, there are a bunch Berkeley, of colleges. Yeah, so Berkeley, Berkeley um, there, there was a University of Wisconsin. We had protesters uh, that, that held up the speech so much that the legislature actually passed a bill. Uh, we had uh, Cal State Los Angeles where there was a near riot. DePaul University threatened to arrest me if I if I stepped on campus. Uh, for what? Uh, but for, you, for were trespass. Invited. Mm -hmm. you were invited. I was invited by the students, and then the administration. Uh, I was literally standing in front of their security chief, and they brought in the Cook County Sheriff, and they said, "If you well, if you, you take be, one more well, step, we'll arrest you." Well, let's talk about what Tufts what Tufts said. Here's what the student action in Tufts United for Immigrant Justice Facebook event said: Ben Shapiro's history of spreading fake news and fear mongering, particularly around issues of immigration, has put many of our communities in in intangible amounts of uh, danger. If Ben Shapiro was invited to campus, he will be given a legitimate platform to continue spreading these lies. Mm. That, that, do you even recognize that description? Do you feel you like you're dangerous? Uh, I mean, no, and, and that's also a pretty astonishing statement, particularly about my statements on immigration. I mean, I, I've, I've been for a wall. I'm, in for, I'm for immigration enforcement, but my actual position on immigration is to increase legal immigration and to ensure that the people who are here, we assess on a case-by-case -case basis and put them at the back of the line if we think they should stay and throw them out if we think they ought to go. But that, that doesn't seem like a particularly hard-line position, e even by kind of normal political Does measures. Does this insult you personally? I, I, I don't get insulted as much as, uh, as, much as bemused. I'm sort of confused as to why exactly people are so exercised over me showing up on their campus. But in a perverse way, the controversy is probably good for your personal brand because it's of like, course. oh, Ben Shapiro, he's a troublemaker. We want to hear from him. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, we're packing lecture, lecture halls across the country. I mean, we're showing up in lecture mm -hmm. halls of 1,000, 2,000 people, and we're packing them. I spoke right. at UCLA the other night, and uh, it was a 600-person hall, but they had 1,400 people who had registered beyond that. Uh, so it, pe people are, are interested in hearing the message. The, the stupidest thing that the left can do 
is do to me the exact same thing they've done to President Trump. You know, they'll go right. overboard uh, and make the issue about me as opposed to make the issue about the issue. I have a pretty good source that says you're also getting rejected in Syracuse, even though the Republican Party wants you to come. The administration doesn't. Uh, that, that wouldn't be surprising at all. I mean, they, they don't want the controversy. They don't want what they perceive to be the security risk, even though uh, the past few lectures I've done, there really hasn't been any right. opposition at all. I mean, at Berkeley, there were 600 police officers and, you know, some members of Antifa, but that was about it. Where do you stand on Roy Moore? Do you think he should be seated uh, if wins? Uh, uh, no, I don't think he should be seated if he wins. You just think that he is not worthy? Uh, yes. Yeah. I, think, I think it's a disaster for the Republican Party if a man who has credible allegations that he has not rebutted of child molestation is seated as a senator. Well, we know you're going to be seated at noon on another curvy couch uh, doing <laughs> outnumbered today, right? Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. All right. Yeah. Ben? <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. I, I, believe, I believe that you believe that. <laughs> you know, it's going to be fun. It's a fantastic show. And, and by the way, oh, somebody on our crew listens to your podcast whenever you put it out. If you haven't heard it, go to iTunes or SoundCloud, Google Store. any of the apps. Yeah, thank That's you. Right.